So I got my internal medicine doctor here. He's the one that you, you also agree that it's been going down, the swelling. Right. Uh, this is my third visit. How you doing today, sir? Fine, How's the family? Very good. That's good. All right. Uh, three, four, four the first time. 44 the first time? Right. And then 43. And then 43. About 42 now. About 40? 42. 42. Yeah. Alright, so it is going, still going down. Right. It's still consistently going down. And, yeah. So, you don't have any shortness of breath, no difficulty? <laughs> no, I have no yeah. shortness of breath, and no how difficulty. How is the pain today? The pain today, well, uh, the leg ache where they had the, the, the tourniquet, that's gone. Right. That, I, that's no longer hurting anymore. Yeah. Uh, the knee... It's just the knee. Sometimes I get sharp pain, and uh, I can't, you know, and I'm constantly on my backside. They got an air mattress under, right. on top of this mattress, because I got some bed bruising on my bum. And uh, so, I, and I try to move around. Right. If I try to move around, then it gets uncomfortable, and then it starts to hurt or ache. But the way to prevent those bad sores is to change position from time to time. That's when that uh, aches. I know. Yeah, so that's when that's... You just need to strike the balance. Because it likes to... Because if I'm laying on this side, yeah. it bends this way. The knee right. that... You know, it's not supposed to bend this way or that way, but it 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 got uh, a tension on this side. Right. And then if I get on my other side, then it wants to bend the other way and that hurts and then yeah. I try to I try to lay on my stomach which is a perfect was the way I really prefer to lay most of the time and and I can't do that because then it just constantly it's this constant pain right, so that's on the knee maybe we need to double up on the pain medication yeah we need to uh, double up on the pain uh, medication then also they drew your blood this morning to check the blood thinner level we're not there yet, but we know it takes a few days on the Kumadin right. before your blood will get to where we want it to be. We, the goal will be to get to between 2 to 3. That's what the higher now. Today you're at 1.1. 1 .1. All right, we're so 1 So we'll check again tomorrow before you go home. All right. And like I was explaining, you have an appointment with me on Monday afternoon at Fentos Clinic. All right, do you, you, you will give me a piece of paper to take, right? No, you really don't. You just it's a walk-in because I want to see you. Uh, yeah, right. I know, but a piece of paper reminded me Monday I got to see you. Because right, if, if I go discharge. home this weekend. Right. It will be in your discharge summary that the surgeons will give you. So the most important thing for that visit is you need to come earlier in the day, like in the morning, to come and have your blood drawn for a test, for the same blood thinner test. Okay. So that by the time you're walking in to see me, I will have the results in front of me. Okay. And then if we need to make changes to your medication, we can then make those changes at that point. Uh, I, I, I received a call from... Anticoagulation. Fr Anticoagulation. Correct. Uh, I got to be there uh, next month on the 15th. Okay. So at t like 10 o'clock in the morning. Correct. So you already have the appointment. That is pretty fast. That's good. So, they will be the ones to monitor the day-to-day, -day. but until you, that point when you begin to see them, I will have to be the one to, to monitor it for you. All right. So, which is why I will see you on Monday, and then we can make changes to the blood thinner levels, but you need to first draw the blood first in early in the morning before you come in to see All them. right, and that will be in the instructions in the paper, right? I, I do hope they not, I mean... Your surgeons, uh, hopefully they will put it in the... Okay, just the remember test. Monday, get here early, early. Get here early, have blood drawn, and then 1 o'clock you see me in clinic. All right. But blood drawn first thing in the morning. I mean, any time in the morning, 
But I need to, you need some time so that the results will be ready by the time you see me. Okay. Other than that, I mean, that's just pretty much it for now. So, blood drum on Monday, see me in cleaning, and then I can continue to see you from there. All right. Thank you, Matthew. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, All right. Yeah. So, so they're going to double remember, up. Right. Do remember to tell the surgeon to give you the laboratory forms. Yeah. You're going to need, like, three to four of them. Because most of the tests, I mean, you know, like the Dr. Clark was explaining to you, we need to keep an eye on the blood thinner. Yeah. So most of the time, I would just call you from home, come and test on so and so day. Yeah. So you will already have those forms on you. You just bring one of them and you do the test. Yeah, and, I'll g and that will be the first thing I do when I get out of here because I got like six minutes left on my phone. Right. And... So I, I will definitely get some more minutes so you right. can call me. Right. So what I, like what I was saying is they need to give you some of those forms to go home with the okay. laboratory forms. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, I'll Doctor. See you later. P peace out.